Hi guys, it's me Dori. I'm back with another video. Today we're doing a very interesting type of a video, which is an unedited Q&A video. So, why am I doing this? So this is actually a homework of part-time YouTuber Academy to answer like questions unedited, etc. But I also found it very interesting because when I edit my videos, I kind of lose my sincerity. So I wanted to show my sincerity and I just wanted to show raw me, you know what I mean? So of course I'll add images and text, etc. But I'm not gonna cut this raw footage that you're currently watching. So yesterday I collected bunch of questions from Instagram. If you don't follow me, follow me. And yeah, today I'll be answering them. So let's get started. Okay, it's freaking hot here. <sighs> okay. So, do you find it easier to be friends with boys or girls? For me, it doesn't matter because I treat both of them equally. So it doesn't actually matter whether you are a boy or girl or, you know, however you describe yourself. So, second one. Why do you think your YouTube channel has been successful? Because of the algorithm. So yeah, I mean, one of my videos, the what it's like to be half Japanese, half Turkish video went viral. So yeah, that's the reason. But actually this is not my channel. This is my fourth channel or so. My first video was five years ago, I guess. Yes, five years, five years ago, you can still find it. No. I, I unlisted it. You can see the later versions of my videos. But yeah, I've been always interested in making videos and being a YouTuber. And from like my childhood, like when I was 14, 15, I told my mom that I'll become a very famous YouTuber in the future. And she was like, okay. And yeah, I mean, I'm not famous yet, but I'll be in the future. <laughs> okay. So yeah, simply luck. Okay, what if someone you were close to starts distancing themselves from you? Hmm, I'll talk to them and I'll ask them, like, what's the problem, let's talk. And if they don't want to talk with me, then I won't. And yeah, that's the end of the story. So if there is a problem, we'll talk, we'll discuss. If there is not, but they're, if they're still distancing from me, then there is nothing I can do about it. Okay, does real love even exist or do people just randomly fall in love and get lucky sometimes? Hmm. I don't personally believe in real life or soulmates type of things because in those type of relationships, you literally respect. No, you literally accept, expect. You literally expect from, um, you literally expect a relationship grow naturally, but it doesn't happen. So you have to work and you have to communicate. You have to spend so much time in order to get along with your partner. So I don't believe in those real life soulmate type of things. You have to work for your relationship in order to make it stronger and in order to understand your partner. So it's actually same with the family. It's same with the friends. It's same with the relationship. Uh, ships as well in my opinion you have to work and you have to give time for that relationship because we're literally very different and even though in the same family like you can be very very different you can have very different ideas you can have different beliefs so communicating and trying to get along is the solution for it in my opinion so I personally don't believe in soulmates those type of things yep yeah. okay so what's one thing that not everyone know about you? Hmm, it's interesting because I don't really share about my life on this YouTube channel, like about the details of my life. So the part that I'm showing on YouTube channel is very, 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 very little amount. So when I saw like comments and when I saw like entries about me, I just like get amazed by it. Because those are the people who don't know me at all, commenting like a bunch of things about me. And I'm just like, oh my god, you don't know me at all. And even the people who think that know me, like in the comment section, are just like so wrong. And we're like reading with my family and we're just like, they're so wrong. So um, there are a lot of things. But if I would answer this question, one thing... Hmm. 
Mm, one thing. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. What can it be? Mm, ah, okay. This is probably it. I, my first celebrity crush was G Dragon. I think, I think this is kind of like, not a secret, but not a lot of people know that. So yeah. Here's my super deep question. What's your favorite color? Black. <laughs> um, how do you start over when you don't get the results you want? So, hmm. I work until I get the results. I don't give up. I don't give up anything about like anything about my goals, about my dreams, whatever. I just work until I get the result of it. Of course, I fail sometimes, but I know that even though like if it will take 10 years, 20 years for me to achieve that, I'll put the work in and I'll achieve that goal no matter what. Like people will forget about the goal even, but I'll still work for that goal. You know what I mean? So um this is actually exactly same with my youtube channel like this channel five years ago like a lot of my friends asked me about like how's your youtube channels going and stuff and also there were like people who were like kind of finding it funny that i have a youtube channel like oh you have a youtube channel but you don't have subscribers etc but from like my mind i always thought okay i'll succeed as a youtuber and I'll succeed as a YouTuber, no matter like um, if it's like five years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, but I will be successful as a YouTuber. And here we are. Not, I'm not telling I'm successful right now, but I think we're going pretty good. And when I look to data, I think we can hit 200K in 2021. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just like super happy about it. Um, because like for five years, a lot of people told me like you can't be a youtuber you can't succeed and etc but i always believed that i can have a youtube channel and we can be successful so yeah it just makes me happy what do you have on your bucket list so for this year i'll probably open a channel in japanese <laughs> i, I kind of like um, feel that turkish people getting offended or german people getting offended offended about the fact that i am not gonna open a turkish or german channel but the thing is the content that i'll be producing on my japanese channel and on my english channel would be very different because youtube japan is actually very different from the other countries in the world maybe it's kind of similar to youtube korea but it's still very different so the type of a con like content wise and also like i have a pretty good amount of turkish subscribers and turkish viewers uh but not many japanese viewers i mean i have i have a actually good amount but when you compare it with the other countries it's pretty low and yeah for me making japanese videos is very easy because it's my mother language and i don't have to really think about it and i really love youtube japan and the type of the content they produce um, it's like so different from the Western style, the editing and the thumbnails and the whole community is very different. So I would like to do that. Yeah. And like in, in like in maybe English, maybe YouTube, like English version of YouTube or in Turkish on, in German, there are like a lot of people like me, like posting about like vlogs, productivity as a uni student. But in Japan, there are not so many. Of course, there are some people. Maybe I just don't know them. But yeah, for me personally, I would like to really do that. Um, what is the most annoying thing that you never can tolerate? Mm, talking shit about people that you don't know. Not because like I became a YouTuber or so, but I just like don't understand it. I don't understand the magazines. I don't understand the gossips and stuff. Um, that is going around the internet i just feel like it's a very waste of a time because you literally don't know that person at all like even if you met that person you can never know that person and like you 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 even didn't yeah like you didn't even meet that person and you were like talking shit about them which is kind of like crazy i understand it i understand why people want to do it but i just feel like it's a so I just feel it's so much waste of a time so i don't understand it but okay this is not my answer because i can't tolerate it so hmm P 
people trying to steal other people's money. That's the thing that I cannot tolerate, maybe. Favorite anime. Jojo no Kimo no Boken. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Absolute favorite. Okay. Next question. Uh, when you miss someone a lot and you can't see, what would you do? I can't stand not to see my little... Okay, I'll, I'll call them. I'll call them. We'll chat if that person is available. And if not, I'll call them later. So yeah. Hmm. Do you believe that emotion is inherited from parents? No. I believe that every person is an individual. So it can of course affect you. Affect you. But it's not going to determine who you are. So no. Why you don't watch movie and why, do, why you don't like to watch movie? Hmm. I don't like watching real people like acting and stuff. I love animes. I just watch 2D things, not like 3D real world. You know what I mean? I just don't like it. I just don't want to see people on screen acting. It's just like so weird for me. And always like the when I hear the story, there is like a character in my imagination and it's really different from the real life. So yeah. And I, I, I appreciate a good voice so much so and the voice actors in Japan say you um, sang they have a very good voice and they're acting and I just like love anime so much so I don't like I don't like to watch people <laughs> why is Naruto better than Jojo it's not Jojo is of course better than Naruto if you're saying that Naruto is better than Jojo you probably don't understand Japanese or Japanese is probably not your mother language because I'm not saying this to discriminate people or something but in order to watch anime 100% you really have to know Japanese very well very well and even you have to be native speaker why because especially in animes like Jojo there's a lot of actually um, linguistic things that they use like the way they speak the way they present themselves is very different and Japanese is a very like a unique language like you can say watashi ore boku or like ore sama you can refer yourself as you can refer yourself in a very like different ways and that really represents who you are what type of person you are and your ah characteristics etc so if you if you don't know Japanese you can't understand what they are actually trying to do or you can't understand the way they speak like they speak like janaika kore janaika they're speaking a very different way and also when i look to the like subs english subs turkish subs whatever most of the subs are pretty wrong and translated in a wrong way and also sometimes they're true but it really changes the meaning of it so there is a nuance you know between like japanese and other languages and i never saw a translation good enough that represents anime itself like 100 percent accurate oh i couldn't make a sentence but you understand it so naruto is not better than jojo and naruto is so boring <laughs> i know i offended a lot of people but it's hella long so okay uh what's your end game plan on your life would you ever be satisfied or will you be always working on something so i don't work for a goal you know what i mean um it's not in the, it's not like the destination it's i'm doing the things that i want to do so working is not actually a working working is kind of like a play for me because i do the things that i truly enjoy and truly that i want to do so for me like it's not like i have some point and i'm trying to achieve that point but i'm just like doing the things that i want to do so um it's not like work so I don't have an end game plan because it's not, it's never gonna end. <laughs> I just enjoy my life. Okay. What makes you emotional? Animes, fight scenes, and also when I saw like character growing up, especially like Midoriya on Boku no Hero Academia, like the development he's showing, I just like cry every single time. And my brother is like why are you crying and i just like cried in every single episode of boku no hero academia like literally ah okay if there's occurs any sport contest between japan and turkey who would you support i don't really love these type of questions i understand what like from where they are coming but i don't really love when people try to put in a box 
box, you know? So, um, as a mixed person, I talked about this actually in my viral video, but they always ask you to pick one of them. And like, you don't need to, because you're literally a mixed person and you don't need to mix a side in order to identify yourself. So like questions like these really tries to actually put you in a, some sort of a category and I don't love that and yeah I just don't love when people do that like whenever I do something Japanese people say like oh you hate Turkey and when I do something like Turkish in Japan you're they're like okay you're a foreigner <sighs> guys I'm just a mixed there is no need to identify, like, I don't really understand why people try to identify themselves so much, like, about their nationality, about their ethnicity, about their sexuality, about their uh, beliefs and a lot of different things. I don't love those type of things. So, yeah. Um, what do you think about the fact that we explored so little of seas we don't fully know what lies in it? Okay, please, please, please. Don't let us explore it and destroy it. So, and I also don't want to know what lies in it. I'm not interested in. <laughs> I mean, the world is enough for me. So yeah. Did you ever think about suicide? Do you have any special thoughts about people who choose in this way? So when I was a kid, I felt like choosing suicide is like a losing the game, like the life game and becoming a loser and etc. So I couldn't understand the people who commit to suicide, but now I grow up and I can see the things differently. So I, I like can understand people who suicide. I literally can understand it because life is so, so shitty. But I won't commit to a suicide. Like if I would commit to a suicide, I firstly kill the person who is destroying my life and then I'll kill myself. <laughs> But yeah, right now, yeah, I totally understand why people commit to suicide. I'm so sorry for them that life is this shitty. But I wouldn't commit to a suicide because I have a family um, who I'll make sad. But if I wouldn't have anybody that I'll make sad if I would die, then I'll probably, I'll probably suicide myself like after maybe a couple of years later. Who knows? Okay, not because I hate the life, but if I wouldn't have the loved ones, like my loved ones, then there is not much meaning for me to live. Okay, what would you say if you gave yourself advice when you were 15? Love you, love you too. So I would say, don't be depressed. Everything is gonna be better than you expect. Just keep going, do whatever you want to do because you will be successful. <laughs> okay. How do you realize between expectation and reality? The reality is not what you expected. What do you mean by that? Hmm. So I work until I work until I make the reality my expectations. You know what I mean? I work until I reach to my expectations, my goals. So I don't really understand this question. What is your philosophy of life? Hmm. I really love Adlerian philosophy. If you haven't read the book, The Courage to be Disliked, it's a very good book. You can listen it as a audible, like the audio book. It's actually a Japanese book, but they translate it into a various languages. So I really recommend you to read it or listen it. I'll put it here and here a link so you can click it and read it. Yeah, that's the Adlerian philosophy. So. Everything is completely fine, but I feel why. What's the purpose of life? Do you feel the same way? Yes, I do feel in the same way, but my mom told me when I was a kid, the meaning of life is finding the meaning of life. So meaning of life depends on who you are. So yeah, basically I'm currently trying to find the meaning of my life. Like currently my meaning of my life is making my family happy and being happy. But if I would lost, if I would like lose them right now, then I wouldn't have any reason to live anymore, which is not good because we will all die. So I have to find some sort of a meaning to live, <sighs> live longer. <laughs> yep. Uh, I hope this is enough. Okay. So it's 19 minutes, 40 seconds. I think it's enough for today. I don't know if you guys like these type of freestyle Q and A type of video. Ah, oh, it's so hot here. Ah, oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me see my next video.
Bye-bye. <laughs>